Hi, and welcome to Mr. Mercer's explanation of limestone pavement formation. The blue line that you see on your screen represents the surface of the limestone. Now, the first stage in the process of limestone pavement formation is that a glacier comes along and through the processes of abrasion and plucking, it um, cleans the limestone, if, if you like, of its muddy surfaces. So uh, I'm just going to represent that now. Here comes the glacier. Through abrasion and plucking, it wears away the soil and debris that's covering the surface of the limestone itself. Um, in stage two, we see that the glacier has disappeared. It has melted away and is no longer with us. The climate has warmed up and rain is therefore able to fall upon the limestone. This rain has a special name. It's called carbonic acid rain. You should point out that the, the carbonic acid rain is only mildly acidic. A process called carbonation takes place. Now, carbonation is when the carbonic acid dissolves the calcium carbonate of the limestone. Knowing the chemical terms will give you a better answer, so try and learn them. If you want to take the chemistry to its fullest extent, the carbonic acid dissolves the calcium carbonate into calcium hydrogen carbonate solution. Nonetheless, this process is known as carbonation, and that's the key term to remember. The limestone is full of joints, vertical cracks within the rock caused by isostatic uplift, movements within the earth crust, and these joints are taken advantage of by the carbonation and are widened creating a textured surface of deep crevices and flatter uh, slabs. The joints are widened into what we call grikes, and the areas in between are left as what we would call clints. Finally, you can mention to score fullest credit in this question, other processes that assist in the widening of the clints and in the widening of the grikes, rather. And the first one here is biological weathering. Having an example of a plant such as Enchanter's Nightshade will gain you a case study mark. And also, you could mention freeze thaw weathering as responsible for widening the grikes. Knowing that uh, an example such as Malham Cove in um, the Yorkshire Dales. That's a very useful example of a limestone pavement, and that would again be another opportunity to score a case study point. Um, okay, I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions, come and find me in class. Bye.